Hello everyone, Adrian here. Well, today I'm going to do something just a little bit different than I've been doing. Instead of talking about food, um, I'm going to make sort of a sideways shift and talk about dishes. And uh, if you've watched any of my other videos about food, you may have noticed that I have uh, these um, vivid red dishes. They're glass. Um, and I'm going to talk about that now because um, I have a, a collection of Royal Ruby dishware as well as a bunch of other pieces. Um, these were made by Anchor Hawking Glass of Ohio um, starting in the 1930s and um, going up really into the 1970s. Um, they fall generally under the category of collectibles called depression glass um, since it started in the 1930s. Um, they were made as um, everyday dishware. They were not um, supposed to be a particularly high-end product, so they were sold in a lot of different outlets. Um, and it was made in a really huge variety of different styles over the decades. So I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I have and um, I'm not going to be able to show them all because I actually have quite a few different things um, and what I have is really only a, a fraction of what was manufactured um, in this line, in this Royal Ruby line. Here's my table set for six with my Royal Ruby dishware. This is called um, an R1700 pattern. It's one of the most um, basic, um, non-ornamented, so very classic uh, styles. There, I've got dinner plates, I've got this um, salad or dessert plate, um, cup and saucer. This uh, tumbler is actually from a different pattern called Baltic. It's got that little bit of a foot on it. Um, but as you can see, these all have a beautiful ruby red color. Um, I've also set this with um, a number of serving dishes. Um, these square ones are called charm. Um, I've got some relish dishes here, um, cream and sugar, salt and pepper. Um, I've got candlestick holders and this is also um, that same pattern this is called oyster and pearl that's the same as the candle holders here um, different uh, type of a serving bowl and another type of a relish dish so um, I actually have enough dishes to set a table for 10. I do not have a table big enough to set a dinner for 10. So you're just getting six here. Um, and this is something that I do use when I am entertaining. Royal Ruby Glass is an established collectible. And as such, there are books on the subject, um, price guides. The two that I have um, is Royal Ruby by Philip Hopper and More Royal Ruby uh, by the same author. They are both uh, published by um, Schiffer. Um, this is 1998. This is 1999. So they are a couple of decades old at this point. There's a price guide in there, but... Um, to be perfectly honest, the uh, the price of these have varied considerably over the years. Um, just as I've you know, since I've been dealing with it, um, they go up and down. Um, they vary seasonally. People collect them for uh, Christmas, for Valentine's Day, um, and then you know there may be less demand at other times of the year. Um, but, uh, you know, it's the demand right now is not as strong as it's been at some point. So this is actually a pretty reasonably priced collectible for you to get into if you happen to be interested in it. Um, this is the charm, the square that I was showing you on the table setting before. Um, this was, uh, this is another one that I showed you. I actually have that pattern. Um, so there's a, a lot of different um, types of things. They have 
photos of the actual um, objects in nice color with a description. And then they also have, um, they went back to the sources with the original company catalogs that were printed out. So they've got um, some great source material. Um, here you go. This is where they were actually selling it at the time. The ads. So these are really great resources for identifying what we're looking at and all the different varieties because there's actually a huge variety of different things covered under this um, Royal Ruby umbrella and manufactured by Anchor Hawking. So here's some of the other types of products that Anchor Hawking made in this Royal Ruby line. Uh, first, one of the most common things that you're going to see are vases. Um, actually, this one here, which still has uh, the original label on it, and this style here, these are probably the two most common Royal Ruby things that you're going to see um, like at flea markets and estate sales. They were just really common products. Um, but the vases also come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Another thing that they made, which I really enjoy, are the pitchers. This is the largest pitcher. Um, there's a small one here. This one has got this really interesting swirl pattern to it. These are really handy for entertaining. Um, I've got a big punch bowl here. These are some other um, unusual ones. This is an uh, apothecary jar. And this is one of the ones that combines both the clear glass and the ruby glass together in the same product. This is another one like this. This is a footed uh, goblet that is a combination of the two. Um, here's another example of a footed glass. Sometimes they um, provided the ruby glass uh, to different companies that then put um, patterns on them. In this case, I had to pick this one up because, of course, it's Chicago and that's where I live. So there's a lot of, there's a huge variety of different things that you can find uh, printed onto um, tumblers like this. Um, these are some of the more unusual pieces. We've got uh, a marmalade jar. We've got a, a candy box here. Again, these are combining the clear and the ruby glass together. This is one where another manufacturer made this metal um, holder so that it could be a set with a royal ruby uh, little bowl like that. So, And here's another, just a variety of different serving bowls. Um, there's kind of different relish trays. Um, this one, I, I'm assuming with, with this here, this is actually an ashtray, but there's just a variety of different things. And I actually have a much larger collection of different ones here. This one has got feet on it. And that one there is uh, the largest piece that I have. It's a set with a very large bowl and platter that come together. Again, that's extremely handy for entertaining. Well, I hope that this is a subject that you've enjoyed um, joining me to talk about and look at some of my collectibles, things that I enjoy. Um, I just happen to love this color, so it really appeals to me, even though it's not something that is a uh, you know, particularly high-end uh, piece of workmanship, but it's something that I just really enjoy, and I enjoy using. I think it really sets food off beautifully. Um, I think, um, you know, the, the deep red is something that really complements um, nearly all types of food. So if you enjoy this video, then please hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to have more 
content like this, then please uh, do put a note below, put a comment down on this video. Um, as I said, this is a little bit different than most of my videos. Um, so if you'd like to see more like this, then let me know. Um, please, if you feel inspired, share this with anyone who you think would enjoy it and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.